Welcome to the video. My name is David. Today we're going to be talking about some of my favorite carnivore YouTubers. To get things started, I just want to make sure that it's clear what my goal is here on this channel. One is to spread the good word of the carnivore diet and two to encourage people to get on YouTube and talk about the carnivore diet. For the longest time, I've had a passion for creating content and being a creator and being an entrepreneur and marketing. And that's what I spent quite a few years doing uh, as, as a job. I've also spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to lose some weight because I've spent a large portion of my life being pretty heavy. And after I got out of the military, I put on a lot of weight and I needed to lose a lot of weight. After going through quite a few different diets, I finally stumbled across this really weird diet called the carnivore diet. It goes against everything I had ever heard. Don't eat too much red meat, make sure you eat your vegetables, all kinds of normal conventional things. I was like, there's no way that this has got to, this can be healthy, but I was still intrigued. It was at least entertaining enough for me to want to watch and listen to what people have to say. Ultimately, you already know the ending. I started eating carnivore, but there was a few YouTubers that really stuck out. I spent a lot of time watching YouTube and I watched a lot of YouTubers and they're all helpful. So please, if they're not on this list, it doesn't mean that they weren't helpful or they weren't a part of my journey to becoming carnivore. It's just that these are the five that kind of stick out and I wanted to talk about. And I'll probably talk about other YouTubers in the future, but these are the quick few for today. Now I do want to throw out there, this is not an order of best to worst or anything like that. These are all out of whatever order. And I probably, I'll, I'll use the first few of being like the most popular one that probably everybody's heard of, but I still got to say, these are the ones that really helped get me over the line. And then a couple other ones that was more personal for me. So let's get started first with Dr. Anthony Chafee. Man, this guy knows some science. I mean, he, I mean, he just talks studies and science constantly all the time. And I love that. I'm a very analytical person. I love looking at graphs and charts. That's my marketing kind of background, split testing and conversion optimization, things like that. So when I hear him talking numbers and statistics, I'm like, dude, this guy's what I need. It helps me convince. It's like the science doesn't science. And Anthony Chafee, he sciences. Not only that, he is kind of the poster boy for being carnivore. I mean, I'm a guy and I like girls, but I kind of want to look like Dr. Anthony Chafee. I don't know about you, but if you're a guy and you disagree, let me know. But I kind of want to look like that. And if you're a girl and you don't think he looks good, then let me know because then maybe I'm going the wrong direction. Anyway, he's helped me understand that carnivore is not bad for you. And if anything, it's great for you. Now, aside from the carnivore part and the science and convincing me that carnivore is good for you, his YouTube channel is interesting. His videos are almost always super long, like an hour long, sometimes multiple hours long. He often has really cool experts on. And I would say that because he delivers such high value content, the, the like the actual things that he's saying is so valuable and so high impact with, with studies and science and things that he doesn't have to put a lot of effort into the production value of like lighting and super good cameras and things like that. He doesn't have to be a, a a uh, specialist at that stuff because the stuff that's inside of the video is so good. After looking at some of the videos on his channel, I can say he's either got a really good system that he's perfected over time, or he's got somebody working for him putting together the thumbnails and the titles for his videos. Overall, you can't argue that Dr. Chafee's YouTube channel isn't successful. He has over 700 videos and a few hundred thousand subscribers. If you haven't got a chance to watch his videos, you should go check him out. I'll leave a link to him and all the other YouTubers uh, in the description. Next up, we got Sean Baker, MD. Dr. Sean Baker is probably a lot like Dr. Anthony Chafee in the sense that he's super athletic, super fit, got world records. He's a doctor. I mean, there's much to say about him. One of the biggest things I remember about him is him first announcing, or at least the first notoriety of the carnivore diet really being him on Joe Rogan's podcast. If I understand it right, he was like the first person to ever coin carnivore diet. I may be wrong. Y'all correct me in the comments if I am, but to everybody else, it's kind of like the all meat diet or the animal based diet. But if I understand right, he's the one that said carnivore. He must be a good marketing guy. I liked Dr. Baker's approach to carnivore because it wasn't so strict and hard lined like 
Dr. Anthony Chafee's was. Uh, Dr. Sean Baker, he's all for like, hey, eat meat. That's what I do in my life. But if you feel better other ways, I'm not saying carnivore is the only way that you can be healthy. So he wasn't like so, like Dr. Anthony Chafee, let's say, you know, plants are trying to kill you. Where Dr. Sean Baker is saying, you know, as far as I can tell, meat's the way to go. But if I'm not going to argue with you if you think it's better for you to eat plants or something or, or eat you know, the American standard American diet. But if I recall, I've also watched a video of his where he said, you know, occasionally he'll have birthday cake. So he's, he, it sounds like he lives a life that's like a life and not like, so like, so by the books, which I like that freedom to be able to occasionally not eat just meat and eggs and bacon. I don't get tired of it, but you know, beside the point, occasionally it would be nice to when you're going to a social function or somebody's making you a birthday cake to, you know, partake in a slice of it a bit. And Dr. Sean Baker's kind of made me feel like that's okay to do, but really he's kind of got that fitness thing going on too. And he's kind of like, when I, to be honest, back some years ago, I went plant-based where I only ate plants I didn't eat any oil, have any oils to cook the food on. I was essentially a vegan. But when you look at all the vegans in the world, even if you did watch uh, Game Changers, that documentary, like really most of the vegans in the plant-based community is, they're, they're not totally fit. So seeing Dr. Anthony Chafee and, and uh, Dr. Uh, Sean Baker, you kind of get this idea that eating meat does a body good. And... Sean Baker is one of them people. So that's one of the reasons that Dr. Sean Baker was able to help me get over the finish line of, I want to look good. I don't want to be just some skinny bean pole. And Dr. Sean Baker, Dr. Anthony Chafee, they got muscles. Now let's talk about uh, Dr. Sean Baker's actual YouTube channel. I, I, I always think it's great when people can come with the content and not have to worry about putting a whole bunch of production value into the videos because that means that there's got to be something good to what the person's saying. They're really delivering value. But Dr. Baker comes at it from another way as well. He comes at it from a more entertaining way at times. Uh, I like seeing him where he's just eating a steak and he's watching another video and you get to see his reaction to the video. It might be somebody talking about how meat's bad for you and he's sitting there eating his big steak. Um, he does a lot of those videos, which, I mean, he's not even saying anything in the video, but you're getting what his joke is. And really, I have this inside thing in my mind thinking, it's possible that Dr. Sean Baker is not actually watching anything. He's just eating steak and he's making a happy face because he's eating a steak. And then somebody else is editing the video and just putting some other video that he could potentially be reacting to. I'm not sure if I'm able to describe what I'm thinking right, but... I'd love one day to be able to interview Dr. Sean Baker and ask him if he was really sitting there watching these videos while he was eating the steak or if it's just all movie magic. Either way, eating a steak and being happy or watching a video that makes you laugh, uh, either way, he's, he puts some entertainment value into some of his videos. I don't want to take away from the content that he brings because he also comes with the science. He talks about studies. He's putting together uh, a network of, of doctors uh, that you can reach. Like I haven't really looked into it that deeply, but I'm interested in it that um, other doctors all throughout the country, even maybe even the world, I'm not sure, that he's been putting together some sort of a network that you can connect into and, and access people that are doctors that follow the same train of thought when it comes to health and diet. It shows here that Dr. Sean Baker has over 1,500 videos and 300,000 subscribers. So if you haven't heard of Dr. Sean Baker and you are a person that eats carnivore, you got to check him out because he's like the godfather of carnivore. All right, next up is like the biggest, baddest carnivore YouTuber that I'm, I can, I don't know if there's anybody bigger than him except for maybe Jordan Peterson. I don't know how big Jordan Peterson's following is, but Dr. Ken Berry has 3 million subscribers, and he's put out over a thousand videos. Dr. Barry takes the science approach as well. I really thoroughly enjoy his explanations. He does tend to be a bit more on the keto side of things, or at least with uh, some of his older content, or maybe he goes back and forth between like carnivore and keto. But I did keto in the past, and I'm familiar with that. So there's sometimes he's got some recipes in there that he shares. I was trying to, deviled eggs is like my favorite thing in the whole world, that and peanut butter cookies. 
Uh, deviled eggs falls a little bit more in line with the carnivore diet, but I'm uh, trying to find a way to get rid of mayonnaise. And he's got, a, uh, he shows you how to, how to make uh, carnivore uh, deviled eggs and make a mayonnaise out of bacon grease. And I, I just want to recommend you go check out that video, especially if you are a deviled eggs fan like me. Dr. Barry definitely takes science and studies and breaks it down in a way that average people can understand. And when I say average, I mean me, because I don't understand science, I don't understand medical stuff, and if you were to ask me questions about it, I would try to answer the question, but I'll use words that don't really exist. So if you have a challenging time understanding the, the study words and following along with what Dr. Chafee says, Dr. Ken Berry is probably a great place to be because he breaks things down in a, in a way that everybody can understand. He's also got a really cool accent that's fun to listen to. Another thing about Dr. Berry is that he's been making videos for so long, you can kind of see that he himself went through a pretty big transformation. If I look back at some of his older videos, it looks like he had a bit of weight on him and he was trying to lose some weight. And now when you look at some of his more recent videos, he's looking pretty buff. And uh, if anybody ever gets a chance to talk to him, uh, can you pass on a message that I said, good job. Now about his channel and his videos that he makes, I've already mentioned that he's got over 3 million subscribers and he's got over a thousand videos on his channel. I really like that he keeps his, his, uh, his thumbnails consistent. He's got this look uh, and up almost every single thumbnail on his video on his channel he's like all the time and if you've watched his videos or you've seen his videos come across your 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 screen you know exactly what i'm talking about and then he just changes up the the text and the imagery a little bit uh on each of his videos and i think that you should be able to take this as some inspiration if you're thinking about starting a youtube channel yourself is that you don't have to get super fancy with the thumbnails and having to be some graphic designer for everything you ever do. Uh, Dr. Canberry is living proof that you don't have to do, you don't have to reinvent the wheel every time you're making a thumbnail. And for him, it's probably, you never have to redo your thumbnail. You just put some different text over the same picture. I mean, it becomes recognizable and every time you see it, you know, hey, it's Dr. Canberry. And since he's got 3 million subscribers, he's doing something right. Next up is a channel called Ferrigno Freedom. Uh, a gentleman named Dante. He actually goes one step farther than the carnivore diet and does the lion diet. After watching his videos, my understanding of the lion diet is it's ruminant animals. And don't ask me what ruminant animals are. I know that beef falls into that category. Lamb, ox, I think, or buffalo. I don't know what all ruminant animal is. I think it has something to do with the digestion. But if you go check out his channel, linked in the description, you're gonna uh, find more out about it. Apparently that's also what uh, Jordan Peterson's daughter uh, also does is just, you know, red meat or however ruminant animals are. But the very first video of Freedom of Freedom's channel that I watched was, uh, I think it was his 120 day transformation. And it went from him being overweight, bearded, like stringy hair and um, it was just, he looked very unhealthy. He looked like he was, you know, on the verge of death. And I, if he ever sees this, I, I'm sorry if it comes across that way, but you sounded like you knew that you were on the verge of being super unhealthy. And to watch that one video, and I think it was probably your most video, your most popular video on your channel. It, it, it just to see the whole transformation, him getting more energy him exercising finally and coming off medications. It was like the transformation that was like, that's what I, I just like, I don't have it as bad as that guy, but I want that same transformation. And in this video, you get to see, he goes from like, not super healthy to like a six pack. And again, if you remember what I said about Dr. Anthony Chafee and Dr. Sean Baker, I want the six pack like they got. I want to be like that guy on the beach in the magazine. Like, I want that. I'm sorry, I do. But Dante's done that. He's got the six pack. He's got the chiseled jaw. He, uh, I've watched quite a few of his videos over the time before I started doing carnivore myself. And he shows all the fitness he does. He, um, I don't think, I'm not sure if he's doing it all the time now, but he'll get out there and cut down trees. He'll go on big hikes. All kinds of stuff. And you get to watch him eat all kinds of steak. He's very good at using a um, air fryer. Air fryer, he's a, he does good at 
showing you all the different equipment that he uses to cook his steaks. It's interesting, he takes, he takes his steaks from frozen to cooking. I can't do that, I can't figure that out, but he's figured it out. Someday when I'm buying full cows like he is, or half cows, I can't remember which one it is, maybe I'll have a freezer, I'll freeze all of it and then cook it. That'll save me some money probably, but you gotta check out his channel if you haven't already. It's a great transformation. And if I'm understanding right, his channel is blowing up because I remember when I first started watching it, maybe not even a year ago, it wasn't as big as it is now. And I mean, obviously everyone that I'm talking about today, all of their channels have been growing over the past year, but he's really starting, uh, I think he's getting, well, let me, let me check real quick. 63,000 subscribers and a little over 500 videos. So he's definitely got plenty of content for you to go binge if you haven't watched this stuff already. Now it is kind of interesting. His channel has kind of evolved over time. It used to be a lot more of like this daily vlog and my, my transformation type of content. Uh, now he does uh, quite a bit of reaction content. You get to spend a video with him watching somebody else's video and he'll pause it and give some commentary to the content. And I really enjoy his commentary and his feedback and, uh, and his reaction. Probably my favorite thing about his channel was watching his transformation. Now in a technical aspect of his YouTube channel and the way he does his production and thumbnails and things, it looks like he's just trying to put content out. He just really cares about his audience and he's putting things out to try to share the message, which is what I find in most of the carnivore community. I think he could benefit from a bit more of a, of a consistent theme or, or branding on the thumbnails. I mean, when he's on, when he puts his face on the thumbnail, on the picture of the thumbnail, it's going to be recognizable. If you watch his videos, you recognize who he is. And when he comes up in your, in your news, in your feed, you're going to recognize whose video it is immediately. But I think it's like some coloring and some design consistency could really help his channel out a bit. So if, if you're making thumbnails for your channel, maybe think about trying to keep like something consistent, whether it's colors or some font or whatnot but it, it looks like there, there could be some, uh, some big improvement there. But overall, I think it's a huge testament that it shows that you don't have to have super high production. You just have to get in the mix, make some videos, put it out to the world, and, and you're probably gonna find some success. You're gonna find somebody that likes the content you're putting out. And Dante's content is hard hitting. I mean, that first video that I'm talking about that looking back at it now, I think it was like 125 day transformation. That first video put together, it was from start to finish. It showed the whole thing. It was a long video. He put a lot of work into the montage of, of putting it all together, editing everything and, and voiceovers. And he was very thoughtful on it. So I, I just want to give a lot of credit uh, where that's due. Cause uh, I think for, unless he had some sort of background on making videos, uh, he, he had to, to do a lot of self-taught uh, lessons on how to edit videos and put things together and make a story. And he did a good job because that video covering the lion diet has almost half a million views now. So uh, I don't know if he thought, I don't think he thought he would find that much success putting that video out, but congratulations, Dante, you've done a great job. All right, now this next channel, I'm not sure if everybody's familiar with it, but you may because recently it's been getting pretty good attention. And I've been watching this channel for quite a little bit and it's always been entertaining. And I have to say, it makes me feel like I'm hanging out with my grandpa. And if that gives you any clue to who it is, it's Mitch from Old Guy Carnivore. Now Mitch's channel, it's almost like it's set in his kitchen. It's like every morning he wakes up and he comes and makes his breakfast and he tells you about what's on his mind. And it's simple and it's awesome at the same time. That's how I learned how to make eggs the way he makes them. Cause I, honestly, I, I wasn't really sure. I love how he just beats the eggs in his videos. <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to start using a measuring cup just like Mitch. And I'm going to beat those eggs. And every time I get done beating the eggs, I'm thinking like, <laughs> let me take a moment and beat my eggs. And then it's like a little music in the background while he's beating his eggs. And I'm just thinking to myself, every time I beat eggs, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm imagining Mitch. It's, it's weird how he can make me think of him when I'm not watching his video every time I beat eggs. I've spent quite a bit of time watching him cook the eggs and the bacon. And actually, I get the same exact bacon. I think it's the same bacon that he uses when he cooks. I just eat a lot more of it than he does. But I've spent some time watching him. Uh, he's a good cook. He can teach quite a bit. 
Uh, but his channel is actually starting to get a little bit of attention lately. He's gotten some mentions. He's gotten some, uh, some talking about. So you got to go check him out if you haven't already. He's entertaining. He'll kind of lift your spirits up just because of the way he, his personality. I mean, got to go check him out. All right, so technical side on his YouTube channel. He's currently at almost 29,000 subscribers with a little over 500 videos on his channel. Really, it's closer to 600. But quite a bit of his videos beforehand uh, were not carnivore related, but I think he's really found his stride in the carnivore community. It looks like he's really been experimenting with different thumbnails and his uh, for his videos, uh, different cuts of, of meat, uh, different uh, whether it's raw or cooked, and uh, it looks like he's he's uh, he's keeping some color consistency in his thumbnails. I also like how he creates some suspense in the title of the video. Here's one for example. The real details about what carnivore has done to me, exclamation point. I think that's pretty interesting. It's a little bit intriguing. It makes you want to click and see what carnivore diet has done to him. Even if you don't believe in the carnivore diet and you're skeptical, you're like, what's it done? So I think that's stuff like that is really good. You don't want to get too clickbaity because um, you don't want to disappoint the, the viewer by coming to watch the video and it not being what it, what it was promised to be about, but just a little bit enough of an intrigue to be like, I've got to click and find out. And that's what he's doing. And he, he's, you can tell he's got some marketing skills there. You can also tell that he likes to kind of use trends a little bit with, uh, with his thumbnails and the way he puts the text in there. For example, he's got one that says, I cook bacon in this, change my mind. Uh, that's in reference to like, you know, being at a college campus and saying, this is my, this is my belief, change my mind, inviting conversation. So he's, he's doing something right. Uh, he's getting, uh, he's getting some traction now. He's close to 30,000 subscribers. If you haven't seen him yet, you should go check out his channel. So like I said, there's quite a few carnivore channels out there. And this is by no means the end of the list of people that impacted me and my journey into getting onto the carnivore diet. So I'd love to hear about all the different channels that you guys find inspiring and about your thoughts on these different channels. And if you're just getting into the carnivore diet, I want to encourage you to do two things. One, I put together a, a, a free ebook to kind of go over the carnivore diet, kind of like a little guide. And you can find that uh, link in the description. And then also I want to encourage you to watch uh, this recent video I put together about encouraging you to make your own YouTube channel and share the world, share with the world your journey on YouTube. So if you want to check out that video, it's right up there. And I appreciate you stopping by and watching thus far. I'll see you soon in the next video. That's the end.